Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm going to be showing you some tips on how to study. So I know how some of you are like really serious about your grades, and you really want to do good this semester. So I'm going to be showing you some tips and stuff on some good ways to study and to get some good grades this quarter. So let's get started into the video. So first I have this book and it's on my Kindle. So hold on, I gotta find it for you. But it's like right here, so like hold on. I gotta find the home button. Sorry, I just like got this like last week, so I really don't know how to oh, here we go. Okay, so it's called Brain Oh Hey. Hey. Whoa, that's a lot of pages. Hold on. There we go. So it's called Brain Power, Power Smart Study in in like dots how to study and it's by Nina Sunday and I don't think I've ever heard of that author author so I don't really know who she is but I read this book like last week. It's like a really short book. It's only like a few chapters. So you could go check it out on like Amazon or something. If you have like a Kindle or you can get the free Kindle app on your iPhone or iPad. But that shows you like smart ways to study for uh, reading. And uh, it's not really like math because there are a lot of websites out there that shows you how to study for math but not really for ELA. So this book is good if you need to like study for ELA because those stupid New York State tests are coming up. Oh, let's just talk about those. So the New York State tests, some of you might think they might show you your teachers for next year how you're doing, but they really don't. They pretty much actually just make money for the government so, yeah, you shouldn't be stressed out about the tests because it doesn't count for your, like your grade grade, but it shows like where you're at and it makes money for the government. So don't be stressed out about them. My parents, um, they really um, try to stay me away to not being stressed because you really shouldn't because it's not like a real grade. You're not getting a real grade. It's not going to go against your college. So you shouldn't be, like, really stressed out to take them. Our teachers make us stressed by making us prepared and stuff. Where you should really know this stuff. Because if you pay attention, that it should be really easy. Because it's sort of like a level below than what you are. And it's, like, really easy. So just tip, don't be stressed out about the tests. So back to the studying. Um... So, yeah, I'd really recommend that book. Again, it is called Brain Power Smart Study with Little Two Dots, How to Study, and it's by Nina Sunday. And I will probably link that down below. And, yeah, sorry about my hair tie. It's St. Patrick's Day today. I'll be doing an outfit of the week, and that might be posted on Friday-ish, Saturday, maybe. So, yeah, back to the studying. And also, another good thing to do is, um, I don't know about you, but I have Common Core. I just have so much Common Core. And, um, at the bottom of the pages for Common Core, I think I have an example because I have my homework right here, but I'll try not to show you it because it has my last name and stuff on it. And I'm not allowed to show that, so, you know. Sorry, this is just my homework. So right here, it says Engage NY, and um, if you have this, then look at the bottom right here, and go to this website, go to www.engageny.org, and then, um, or .com, I think, I'm not sure, one of those two, you can just check that out, and go to your lessons, and, uh, well, it's sort of hard to get on there, but... I've been betting you'll figure it out, but just go to that website, the engageny.com, and um, go to your module um, at the top. I'll show you again. Um, 
right here, since I'm in the sixth grade, it says 6-4, and that means you're in the sixth grade and you're in module four. So if you're in module four, go to module four, and then go to the lesson you're at and stuff. You have to like scroll down if you're on a computer, but you can do this on any Apple or electronic device, and you can also um, do it through your computer. So you're at that. So if you have like a math quiz or something coming up, study those lessons online. Go to the student materials and the teacher materials so you can ask yourself that question and then get the right answer. Because I found that um, cause on my quizzes in the first quarter, I didn't really study at all. I just like quickly glance at my notes before the quiz. And when I got my quiz back the next day, I got like 78s and stuff. But I found when I studied for like maybe an hour a night, two days before the quiz, um, cause my teacher tells me like when we're having a quiz or not, we don't do pop quizzes. But um, I found it very helpful to look online and go through all of the questions, even though it took so much time. But I went from 70s and 80s to like, 95s to 100s and I felt that it was very better and my grade just went like skyrocketed up like poof. so um I definitely want you to guys to check that out so I have a social studies quiz coming up so um whenever I don't have something that I can't access online I like to have the book, so for social studies, we get these big, huge social studies books, and I find, um, they ask you, like, questions after you read a certain passage, so you see, like, I'm doing, like, a lesson on Julius Caesar and stuff, so the, you have to read this whole passage right here, and then it asks you, how did Caesar become a dictator? And so it checks your reading and stuff. And I really find that helpful if you go through all the questions and you, like, find the answers to them. Because um, it really helps when you really know your lessons before the test. Sorry, I'm, like, really playing with my hair. I just love it. Not really. But anyways. So, yeah. So that completes my studying video, and if you would like to see more videos like this, or like school type videos, you can comment down below, and I will leave a request video or picture on Instagram, and I think most of you who actually see my videos follow me on Instagram, but if you don't, it's at peachypeach99, so if you want to go check that out, and you can request me, and I might not accept you because I don't really know you that well but if I don't you can leave a comment below that you are requesting me on Instagram and then I will most likely follow you but you can't be a stalker so yeah I hope you all enjoyed this video keep on shining and I love you and I'll talk to you in my next video bye